I'm going to tell you why you're missing out if you have no plans of coming back home or doing anything at all back home, right? Wherever you are, let's say New York, France, wherever you are, that developed country that you feel so relaxed in was once upon a time a forest, okay? People went there, they settled, and gradually they developed the country that you are enjoying now. So what are you, the beneficiary? And those people, the early settlers, ended up having the richest families, the Rothschilds that we know today were early settlers and they took advantage when the country was in the developing phase. So you are over there right now enjoying the fruits of somebody's power labor. Not to mention that they had long years, 400 years plus slavery, right? Free labor, something that we don't have. Ghana, in this case, is a very young country, about 63 years old and Things are not as smooth as we wish it is. And it's people like you abroad who are making money because the banking system here is kind of hard to get along. So it's people like you making money that have to come down here and do something. I'm not even gonna take it that far and tell you to move down here, but you must do something. You must own a piece of land down here. So let me tell you what the foreigners are doing. So we have the Lebanese here, we have the Chinese here, and we have the Indians here right and they are doing amazing for themselves so why is it that we think this place is hellhole whilst other people see gold people are literally mining gold for this country how would you feel if you abandoned this country for let's say 50 years right because most people have the idea that they will come and die here right they will come and die here so you want somebody to build for you and they will come and die here cool how would you feel if 50 years from now you show up and all your landlords are foreigners in your own country. You outside, that's not your country. You come back home and it's owned by foreigners. How would you feel? So if all of us were to be as selfish as you are and stay back there, that's what's gonna happen because there are plenty of opportunities out down here and foreigners are seeing it and they're taking it. Malcolm, the owner of Malcolm, his father got here way back in the days with nothing, really. And he grew up and he started Malcolm very 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 small like a small store and now malcolm has like a lot of locations in ghana it's one of the biggest companies in ghana right a club mall owned by foreign and south africans right palace mall owned by lebanese and a lot of other businesses right anc mall is actually owned by a ghanaian the guy like ourselves you know he was comfortable he had a great job but he said no he must come home and do something he saw all his houses abroad came back home, he did something, and now he has enriched himself tremendously. There are a lot of opportunities back home. And you must, you must come here and benefit as well. This is your birthright. You must come home and do something. So if you look at the top 10 people in Ghana, we have about four of them being foreigners, right? So this part of opportunity down here. And you, my friend, are fortunate enough to live abroad right you've seen what's working and you do not have to be the elon musk you can literally be a copycat you don't have to reinvent the wheel so you see something and you know how something's supposed to work and you come down here trust me my friend you're gonna find something that you know how it's supposed to work and it's not down here and what do you call that an opportunity and you can enrich yourself massively my friend sitting down there you know being exposed and not trying to come back home and help enrich your family and also help the economy develop. I think <laughs> it's actually kind of stupid. Personally, I think so. Let me tell you guys a story. My father's friend went to America and he was so comfortable. I think he was there for about 13 years. And since he got to America, he forgot that he was from Ghana, right? He got married, you know, to a foreigner and all that stuff. I'm not against it, but he got married to a foreigner and he forgot all about Ghana, never visited, nothing. Never bought a land, nothing. And guess what, when Trump came in power, my man got deported and he came back to absolutely zero. So no matter what, this is your home, okay? You never know what's gonna happen. And also you are actually very, very, very lucky to have a second home, right? Look at what happened to Ukraine. So let's say you live in Ukraine. You went to Ukraine and you forgot that you are from Ghana, and then a fight happened. Where are you gonna fly to? 
are you going to escape to? You're going to go to another country and struggle. Whereas if you would have built something back home, something like that happened, all you got to do is come back home. And if you are out there, I'm not saying don't do anything out there. You can do something out there. But having two places that you can be at this point in time is the smartest thing you can do. And let's look at the people who got very rich from purchasing lands in strategic locations without them knowing, right? This is the one about 30 years ago was a forest. Spent as about 40 years ago, you know, 35 years ago was a forest. And there were some Ghanaians here who bought land, right? Or they were abroad and they invested back in the country. They bought land never knowing what's going to happen to these places. And look at those places now. A plot of land is going for a million. Trust me. So, <laughs> and Ghana is developing at such a, an insane rate. I don't know the last time you visited the country, whoever's watching this, but trust me, it is not what you think it is, right? Uh, Ghana has seen some insane economic growth since the early 2000s. And people who are buying lands and, are, and acquiring assets are becoming fabulously rich. And you, my friend, have a huge advantage, a huge advantage having access to capital, knowing how something is supposed to work that you can easily come down here and replicate right to enrich yourself so and also the country that you're living in right now is not your homeland it's not no matter what you think is not okay some people go there and they have this idea that they will come and die here which i think is very stupid because if you don't want to have anything to do with a country why do you want to come and die here this is not your home so why do you want to come and die here you should die wherever you're staying at also, having a business in Ghana right now is the best thing that you can do, right? So let's compare Ghana to the Western world. If you have an employee, you got to pay for their social security. You got to pay them the minimum wage, right? It's in the law that you have to pay somebody a certain amount. That's the minimum you can possibly pay that person, right? You have a huge advantage over here. You know, those systems are coming. And as of now, labor is so cheap, you know, because of the high unemployment rate, people are desperate to work. And these foreigners are taking advantage, paying people like $100 a month out here. And they're making insane margins, margins that if you tell someone, they will tell you that you're lying, right? So what you can do is you can come back here, pay people more than these foreigners are paying them, or what an average person is getting paid. And you will still enrich yourself tremendously, right? Having a business down here is the best thing you can do. I remember when my father first went to the States, uh, he tried to like, you know, buy cars and bring it down here to sell it. That's a business I wanted to do at first. And then my father didn't come back to Ghana for almost like five years when he first went to the States. And then he came back and he saw a guy, right, who was like, they didn't have anything when he left. And now this guy is like richer than he, he was, you know, coming from the States. And that's when it started clicking. My father started doing a few businesses down here and that business is making him more money than he's making in the States and he's coming to Ghana in two years, it's moving. So you don't have to pack up your bags and leave, but you must start doing something small here, right? Something small, and that might replace your income, my friend. So that's the message that I have for you guys. The least you can do, if you don't wanna do anything, you don't have anything to do with Ghana, buy a land and have a house down here, and you just never know. So if you've not subscribed to the channel already, can you do so? Comment and like the video as it helps with the algorithm. And until next time, my friends, be legendary. Peace.